Alright, so it's been a while since I've made a video, so I'm making a video. Uh, just recently swapped out laser disc players because I got a new piece of audio equipment in, and that is I finally picked up a Yamaha demodulator. And what that does is it converts the um, whatever conversion that needs to be done that a laser disc player can't do uh, to create AC3 5.1 surround sound. So it basically decodes the audio. But, uh, so, yeah, I had to swap out players, so I now have the DVL-919 in place of the other one. And, uh, yeah, this one has the AC3 audio out, where the other one just had the plain stereo RCA. Uh, so, I made sure to have that labeled on my receiver, so that way I can swap between the two. Because, obviously, not all laser discs are in, uh, you know, have the AC3 audio out, so you have to have both hooked up. So I have that set up on receiver, and I've already played Twister on it, and it sounds great, so uh, I'm pretty much happy. Although I'm having a couple issues with this player, which I already knew ahead of time that I was going to have issues. Um, I'm going to look into what I can do to fix those, if they are fixable. So, But either way, uh, another thing I could do is, I think part of the problem is, uh, every once in a while it'll skip, kind of like, type of thing. But I'm going to see if just playing keep playing uh, a movie through it and continue you know make using it regularly see if that'll help loosen up whatever gunk and dirt's in there plus I'm gonna go inside and clean it and I'll relube everything so see if that helps um, so yeah maybe eventually I'll do a follow-up video on this so but uh, other than that the player works fine so and of course I now have the other player downstairs hooked up to our living room TV so that'll work just as fine too so yeah, I'll turn it off for you Pioneer. Yep. I also think I might need to replace the belts. I already found it on eBay. So order that too but uh, yeah so that's pretty much it